Hello everybody and welcome to our mighty African history channel. Today let's talk about the transatlantic slave trade and the 10 most enslaved African tribes so stay tuned and get to learn your history. For those who don't know what the slave trade was, let me break it down shortly. Okay, so the transatlantic slave trade was the largest long distance forced movement of people in recorded history. From the 16th to the late 19th century, over 12 to 15 million people approximately, African men, women and children were enslaved and transported to the Americas. They were bought and sold. It is actually said that many Africans died just during the long overland journeys from the interior to the coast. The ones that survived were held in slave castles such as Elmina, Elmina that is present Ghana, uh, in Gore Island that is now Senegal, and Bones Island now Sierra Leone, before forcing them into ships for the middle passage across uh, the Atlantic Ocean. So, the majority of African slaves in pre-colonial Africa came from the areas in which the transatlantic slave trade was most active in East and West Africa. So, we will start with number 10 coming downwards to number 1. Okay, so number 10 was actually the Chamba tribe. Uh, these are people of northern Nigeria and parts of Cameroon. Uh, the Chamba people actually fought slavery. Uh, they resorted to a resistance campaign in which they retreated to the mountains and attacked slave trading caravans. Uh, and that led to less Chambas being taken to slavery. And that's why they are at number 10 on our list. Number 9 are Wolof people of Senegal and Gambia. They were made up of a variety of separate kingdoms and constant wars between them uh, actually led to enslavement uh, among us the Wolof particularly with the arrival of Islam in Senegal which was accompanied by Jihad. So internal Wolof Jihads resulted in internal displacement and prisoners of war who were then traded as slaves. Number eight on our list, we have the Abron people. Uh, these are people living in the borderlands of Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana, and Burkina Faso. So since they were located in a region in which the slave trade was intense, they fell victim of the slavery. And actually here was the center of the Gold Coast uh, slave region. Number seven are the Fulanis of West Africa one of the largest ethnic group in West Africa from Senegal all the way up to Central Africa Republic. Number six are the Mande people. Uh, they are a collection of ethnic groups all over West Africa that speak the Mande language and the most widely recognized Mande speaking nation uh, being the Mandinka nation. Number five on our list are the Fon of Benin and Southern Nigeria. Uh, they are the largest ethnic group in Benin and uh, uh, an example of them is actually the famous Dahomey Amazonas. Uh, they were female warriors uh, which actually inspired the Black Panther movie. Four are the Bakongo people. They lived along the Atlantic coast of Central Africa in the Democratic Republic of Congo and just like the Mandinka in Upper West Africa, uh, they actually created one of the most prominent empires in their region of Central Africa called the Congo Empire. Actually, the grandson of the Bakongo king was taken into slavery and entered history as one of Brazil's prominent slaves, uh, Ganga Zumba. Number three are the Igbo people. Uh, yeah, they actually belong to the most enslaved African tribes. Uh, they are one of Africa's largest nations, which was also affected by the transatlantic slave. Number two are the Yoruba tribe. And number one on our list are the Mbundu people from Angola. They were among us the most enslaved Africans, uh, according to the atlas of the transatlantic slave trade, with most being transported to Brazil. Uh, it was during this period that the legend uh, Queen Zinga uh, of the Ndongo and Matamba Queen, uh, which is actually present Angola, led a rebellion against the Portuguese. Actually, the Mbundu presence in Brazil was so high 
that they influenced the Brazilian culture, including the popular martial arts technique, are uh, called capoeira. So rounding up here, the 10 most enslaved African tribes. Uh, let's start from number 10. Number 10, we say they were the Chamba people. Number 9, the Wolof people. Number 8, the Abron people. Number 7, the Fulani. Number 6, the Mande people. Number 5, the Fon of Benin and Southern Nigeria. Number 4, the Bakongo. Those are Bantu that live in Republic of Congo. Number three are the Igbo people, number two, Yoruba tribe, and number one were the Mbundu from Angola. So I hope you guys enjoyed our video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you next time. Bye-bye.